the false paradigm model what is false paradigm model telling you it is telling you that there is under development in the under developed countries because of the wrong strategies which are followed by these countries wrong strategies and who is advising on these wrong strategies western donors western advisors western uh, agencies they have their own vested interest to advise wrongly they are not much concerned with the development of under developed country what they are concerned is with their own money coming back with interest they should be getting return on their investment so sometimes they give the kind of the advice which uh, which may be complex which may be misleading so supposedly if there is some underdeveloped country which has not achieved food security and you are asking that country to grow cash crops is that a good advice huh? then many of these advices are based on neoclassical models structural change models so it is assuming that whatever happened in the developed countries would also happen in developing countries eventually so they will also follow the same path that is not necessarily true the reality of underdeveloped countries is very different from developed countries their starting points are very different so you cannot assume that the same models which work for developed countries will also work for underdeveloped countries that is not true and the kind of the advice which they give is sometimes uh, Uh, is is mainly for serving elites. It is not necessarily for masses. It it is not necessarily for the development of that underdeveloped country. So if you follow the wrong advice, how will you develop then? That is one thing. So this is what that model is telling you. Then reality in underdeveloped countries is very different. They have institutional barriers. so in countries like india you have caste system which is there so these are the traditional sect uh, traditional structures and because of the low caste because of the caste system many of the low castes they are not getting proper jobs they do not get proper education of course government helps them in terms of reservation but that that's the reality now this is not the reality which which developed countries faced so it's like an institutional barrier you can't assume what work for developed countries will work for these for for underdeveloped countries also no they have unequal property rights in underdeveloped countries and sometimes because elites have a lot of property rights they would try to block reforms because in case of the reforms is going to happen then there might be redistribution of wealth which which is not what they want so that is also the reason that there is institutional barrier and institutional barrier is the reason why underdeveloped countries are underdeveloped then elites they are controlling financial assets so if masses have to go they have to go to elites only and they'll become even more powerful and masses have limited access to credit how will they develop how will the country develop country is not made only to serve the interest of of few right it is there to serve interest of all interest of masses so these are the problems in these are the institutional barriers in underdeveloped countries and without tackling them first if you follow the wrong advice you will not be able to develop that is the main idea so you have to tackle these problems first then the model also talks about local policy makers you know these bureaucrats in asia and africa they are all trained in us and uk in western countries let's say and with with their education what they bring back they bring back those wrong notions those imperfect models those irrelevant models those foreign models which worked in their country in in western countries may not work exactly in toto here in underdeveloped countries but that's what it is and what is also seen is that that these uh these bureaucrats these policy makers they sometimes become apologists for the elitist policies right 
so without tackling the problem of poverty without tackling the problem of joblessness if policy makers think that because in developed countries there was free market there is privatization so there was growth the same thing will happen in the underdeveloped country also no it may or may not happen right so in conclusion what are the consequences of all of us universities are teaching what <clears throat> they are teaching western ideas they are teaching the irrelevant models which worked in west but they may not work in these countries <clears throat> government it is focusing more on gdp growth and on uh, on privatization you have to focus on reducing inequality you have to focus on uh, improving human development you have to focus on providing more credit that is where your focus should be and the neglect of reforms is there of all kind of reforms land reforms reduction in inequality credit access should be there so if you are following wrong approach you have to go somewhere else and you are going somewhere else if you want to go to a and you are following the path of b how will you reach a that is the point so you are i mean this is a false paradigm model right so this is what it is so basically it is the wrong strategies which are leading to under development this is what this model is trying to say right so please read from the book also and make proper notes thank you beta